your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. 643 now, and Corey, it's been pretty warm out these past couple of days. It has been. Maybe a good time to get out and get some work done, uh, a little bit of late yard work perhaps, maybe take a visit to the hardware store and pick I, up some materials. Right. I saw someone mowing lawn this week. Yeah, I don't doubt that. <laughs> uh, we're going to run out of time for that eventually, but uh, we are seeing a little bit of moisture move into the region. So we're going to talk about moisture and the, and the phases of water, kind of a random one this morning. What is the process where water vapor changes directly to ice called? Is it condensation, sublimation, deposition, or evaporation? These are all words, I promise. One of them is the correct answer. We're seeing a little bit of water on the roads this morning. Very, very thin layer there. That's all because of relatively warm and moist air over cooler pavement. And so we're seeing some of that water from the moist air stick to the roads, not causing slick spots. We're above freezing. And so that is allowing for things to be fine as far as travel goes. Now, there is a really pretty sunrise in our Mountain Verdian City Cam as well. Temperatures in the low to mid 40s. There's a bit of a southerly breeze, but no fog concern this morning as we head out and about. Otherwise, we're looking at a fairly quiet day for most most of it. It's not till later this evening when this yellow box here on the rain section of your first alert comes into play. That's when that chance picks up a little bit, starting in the south and then shifting to the northeast from there. Now we've been watching this traffic incident in Interstate 80 west of Tiffin all morning long, still seeing some slowdowns in that area as traffic pick up picks up. We could see a little bit more of a slowdown there, so be ready for that if that's part of your morning commute. It's west of the Tiffin exit on Interstate 80 westbound. Otherwise, we're waiting for this area of low pressure to move to the northeast, and it will over the next several hours falling right along this frontal boundary and providing us that chance for some precipitation later today. But between now and then, expect dry weather, expect partly cloudy skies at worst for a good portion of the day. So a decent amount of sunshine should shine through those mid to high level clouds or in between. As we head towards tonight, though, it's when things get cloudier and eventually a little bit more active with that shower chance returning. You see here south of Interstate 80 as we head toward the nighttime hours overnight, I think is the best chance for most of us as this continues to move to the northeast. No so that everything stays green. We're talking liquid rain here. It will be a cold rain if you're out late tonight or early, early tomorrow morning. Notice already by 5 o'clock starting to exit the viewing area and moving to the northeast from there. I think most of the day on Saturday will be dry. A little bit of sun early, more clouds move in late. Some of those clouds could contain an embedded flurry or very light snow shower by the afternoon. I think for the most part, the chance for wintry precipitation that causes much of an impact is fairly low at this point. We're looking at temperatures in the 50s today, so far from wintry uh, in terms of how things feel. 57 in Waterloo, 57 in Iowa City. We'll call it 53 in Fayette as well. Clouds increasing a bit as we go through the day. Otherwise, we're watching out for a much chillier set of temperatures as we head toward the weekend. Look for 40s at best on Saturday, mid 30s. Probably the best we can muster as we head towards Sunday. Wind chills on Sunday may not make it much farther than the 20s, so be ready for that change. Into next week, similar conditions for several days with highs in the upper 30s or even a few low 40s possible there until later in the week when more mid 40s make a return and the chance for a light shower or two. Your weather wise question, what is the process where water vapor changes directly to ice called? Which one of these, what do you call those, $5 words uh, <laughs> is, is that? So this an example is like when it's really cold, people take the boiling pot of water and throw it out? Mm -hmm. Is that? Okay. Well, well, the other one, yeah, that is the correct direction, sorry. Okay. Yes. So I think condensation and evaporation are out. So I think I'll go D. Wait, D is evaporation. I, I mean C. C. <laughs> okay. The word that starts with the D. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so condensation is when water goes uh, from vapor to water. Uh, uh, sublimation is when it goes from water or goes from vapor Sorry, it goes from ice to vapor. We're See, all struggling I, today. We are struggling. It is kind of a complicated process. <laughs> Happy Friday. Yeah, exactly. And evaporation is when uh, things go from liquid to gas. And so it is deposition. You are correct. When it goes from gas, water vapor, to solid ice. Now, that doesn't happen a lot, obviously, but it, it does uh, take place, uh, especially, like you said, that, that's kind of a good demonstration yeah, as you're really throwing cool. that water into the air. It can also happen when frost develops on the road, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes during the winter, if the road is below oh, freezing. the freezing frog, fog. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> freezing fog, exactly. Right. So uh, luckily this morning we're warm enough, even though the roads look wet, no slick roads expected. All right, thanks, Corey. Yeah.